Well, good day everybody. Today I thought I'd make a, a homemade Alfredo sauce. Um, found a recipe that seems to be pretty easy to make and should be very good. Uh, we're going to start off with a fourth of a cup of uh, this I'm using salted butter and we'll let that start to melt. And while that's melting we'll add uh, three-fourths of a cup of some uh, some whipping cream and my container doesn't say heavy or anything like that it just says whipping cream on it and we'll once the butter melts we'll time it and we'll do a two minutes on a very low heat okay now we'll go ahead and uh, we'll put in the uh, garlic we'll put in the Italian seasoning we'll put in the salt and we'll put in the white pepper you could use black pepper as well but I finally had some white pepper so I figured I'd use it and we'll just whisk this for about one minute and like I said I got my fire all the way on low and after one minute we're gonna put in our Parmesan this is some shredded uh, Parmesan cheese and we're gonna cook this basically until the cheese melts and it'll be ready to serve over the top of our uh, chicken uh, and uh, spaghetti that has been about uh, about three minutes I've been simmering it for and uh, like I said the cheese is just pretty much melted give it a little taste See if you need to add anything to it. And uh no, that's pretty good. So we ready. Well, let's go ahead and get our chicken ready here. We're gonna start off with a uh half of a teaspoon of some light tasting olive oil in my non-stick skillet. And we'll also put the same amount of butter, and we'll just let that get hot when the butter starts to bubble. We'll do the chicken. And I season it with a little bit of a Italian seasoning. I use a fourth of a teaspoon and we'll put a little salt and black pepper uh, to taste. But I, I won't add that right now. I'm going to get a little brown on the chicken first. All right. Uh, that was about four minutes on that side. Now we'll go ahead and turn them and we'll do four minutes on the other side. Yeah, a little bit brown to start on. Should be pretty tasty. And while this side's cooking, I'm going to go ahead and uh, put a little salt on it. And not too much, just a just a little bit because the uh, Alfredo sauce already has salt on it. So, you know, you don't want to over salt it. And I'm going to put a little bit of my uh, white pepper as well. And just a little bit, a little sprinkling of it. And that's pretty much it for the seasonings. Just go ahead and keep it kind of simple. And like I said, you could have easily substituted the... Uh, chicken with a uh, shrimp you know about eight ounces of shrimp or so that was exactly uh, eight minutes here's my uh, my alfredo sauce go ahead and add that to it uh, get it re uh, re warmed up there that's pretty much it that's gonna be a good little meal I'm gonna go ahead and uh, just let this simmer for about two minutes just to get the uh, sauce and everything uh, Heat it, you know, real good. That would be my lunch today. And I'd say, yeah, this, this is, can easily make a meal for two, you know. Uh, chicken Alfredo. And I'm just using some uh, thin uh, some thin spaghetti that I'm going to have uh, over it. Like I said, I'm going to just let it simmer real low for about maybe a minute and a half, two minutes. All right, here's our uh, spaghetti. Like I said, I'm just using some... Uh, Thin spaghetti. I don't even think it was angel hair, just regular thin spaghetti. And, uh, you know, of course, uh, gotta have our little uh, Alfredo sauce we're gonna put on that. So, yeah, this should be very, very, very good. Really looking forward. This is my first time actually making a, a homemade Alfredo, I think. Uh, I tasted the sauce real good. And uh, I didn't season the, uh, uh, the chicken with a lot of salt because they uh, I, I, I found the Alfredo sauce already had a you know a decent amount of salt in it so I didn't want to you know you don't want to over salt your food you can put it on at the table but it's hard to take it off you know once you once you get everything seasoned with too much salt so I, I try not to cook with a lot of salt to me I don't know just I can always add it you know so we got a pretty good little meal there and like I said this this can easily feed two people I'll probably eat on this again maybe for lunch tomorrow so there you go chicken alfredo 
and you could have just as easily done it with shrimp. Well, of course, the most important part, how does it taste? I sprinkled some uh, fresh parsley on top of it. So, you know, we got a little, try to get a little bit of the spaghetti here. A little piece of my chicken. Ooh, nice and creamy. Let's see what we got. <laughs> Ooh, that is a delicious sauce. Mmm. Like I said, the salt in the sauce is pretty good. So if, you, if you're using meat for the dish, you don't really have to add a lot of salt when you do your meat. Um, or if you wanted to, you could even lessen the salt in the actual uh, uh, sauce. So when I write it, I'll kind of put that in the description that, you know, for those that don't like a lot of salt, you can, de you can definitely adjust the salt uh, when you make the sauce. Well, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed my video, Please subscribe to my channel and hit the like button. Thanks.